Hey guys, so in this video, I'll be showing you the um, Xperia featuring Hatsune Miku phone by Sony uh, through service provider Docomo. And uh, yeah, so there are 39,000 units of these uh, produced, and uh, it came out just yesterday. But uh, yeah, I didn't want to make a video just yeah, until I could get the proper protection for the phone. So I bought the case and the seal and everything before I made the video and make sure I stopped scratching it. So anyways, uh, let's get straight to it. So here's the actual box. Um, bring it up a little bit for you. Yep, so it's like that. Here's the sides. Bit of information there. So through, phone details. Like that. And yeah, uh, one comment a friend made is um, this box looks like a uh, bento box you buy from the station. And um, it is quite shaped like that. But as a phone box, it's quite neat so let's open this and look at the insides okay uh, so when you open the box uh, the phone the back of the phone is uh, staring right at you of course I show you everything that's nice about it and uh, yeah I've gone and put on a seal and everything uh, there's a default seal there just to protect the front part but uh, I've gone ahead and buy it, bought an extra one there uh, as you can see it glows blue here once in a while show you it's operating and uh, grows orange when you're charging and green I believe yep once it's fully charging so um, I'll leave this over here for now uh, it is lighter than the uh, Samsung S3 I'm not sure about the 4 but um, this is definitely lighter than the S3 and the battery is much better but uh, not as good as the S4 I've seen so anyways move this away and have a look at this. Bring like that. It's got some nice features inside, and uh, what's really nice is this thing here. I haven't really taken it out yet, but um, I guess I'll do so now. But anyways, here you are. It's a stand for the phone, and uh, it's got these little two legs over here. And uh, you see that? That's where you put the charger. I'll probably bring out the charger and show you as well. Alright, so, uh, stands over here, I'll plug the charger through, right here, like that, um, this white cord, unfortunately, the phone doesn't come with the uh, actual charger itself, so you have to buy that separately, but um, this dock is green and exclusive, which is nice, let me plug that into socket. And with that phone. Just like that. And voila, beautiful. Very neat. So um won't get into the phone just yet, but you know, so it's got a really nice stand, has a obviously usable now and uh yeah that cord is uh uses the uh, quicker charger because uh there's a the one for the S3 was quite weak and uh, the battery would drain faster than it charges. But anyways, that's another story there. Let's remove that off for now, see the rest of the box. So for the rest of the materials, um, you can see here, green, green. So it's a controller for the um, phone obviously, yep. Yeah. And so it's got um, playing the pause in the middle, uh, skip back, skip forward. I'm not quite sure what that button does though. Oh no, it's not even a button, okay, yep. Yeah. So you've got these three buttons here volume at the top, bottom there, clip here. Move seal and make sure it's clean, I guess. Um, yep, made in China. Um, power button. Or a lock button, perhaps. Yep, and that's where the headphones. Whoa, it's glowing. I maybe it's. A, I'm guessing this is might be maybe a, a sound filter, but yeah, let's turn, leave that off for now. But yeah, I'll research up about that and probably upload more details on the blog. And yeah, uh, they come with lots of replacements of uh, ear buds, as well as the your phone itself and yeah so that's everything uh, instruction manuals and the uh, 
uh, warranties rather were all in the package. So now let's uh with that done, let's move on to the phone itself. All right, so now let's get on get on with the actual phone itself. Uh, I'll just take it off from the bottom here. Uh, apparently, actually before that, um, this phone is a uh, waterproof. I'm not quite sure how much or how it's measured, but um, as long as uh these ports here, so this is for the uh, headphones at the top there and the charger goes through the side here. As long as these are closed, uh, you should be able to uh, it should be able to protect itself from uh, water to a certain extent. Though, yeah, I'm not exactly sure how to what extent. But anyway, so let's open this up. There's nothing awfully special about the inside, so um, that's what the back panel looks like. As well as here, the battery is nothing special. And yeah, so pretty standard stuff. Um, I guess I'll take this off to have a look. And there we go, nothing too much. I'll put that back, and uh, yeah. So um, again, uh, this phone is uh, the plan is through Docomo, the service provider. And Docomo only, of course, uh, exclusive rights held by them. Uh, how do you put this back in? There we go. Yeah, get a little more strength into it. All right. So, anyways, um, now let's uh, try turning this on. All right. So what I've done now is uh, rather than you see the my reflection, uh, <laughs> I turn the lights off and uh, close my blinds so it's turned dark and uh, you can see the spectacle of the uh, load screen quite well from here And there we have it. So just a short warning message here. Yep, so close the covers so it's waterproof. And yeah, there we have it, the main screen for the phone. Uh, with that angle there so you can see a little better. Alright, so um, the custom themes are always Miku colored. Um, Anything you see that's sort of this color is uh, specific to this phone. And uh, mm, we've even got this guy here turned into Miku exclusively for this phone. So, home screen and everything are all exclusive. Um, I've got a message. Nice. So, anyway, yep. Here's the main screen. Um, I guess I'll just leave the lights off so you can see this better. Uh, the wallpaper is, of course, uh, by Illustrator K, um, the original design artist for Hatsune Miku. And uh, yeah, so um, the wallpaper, of course, is uh, changeable by changing settings. So here, panorama pictures, and you can see there's a few choices you can pick from, from uh, different artists themselves. But of course, I uh, seem to like the K1 most, uh, I've used that I'll probably be using that for a while and um, there are multiple uh, exclusive content Yeah, so what makes this worth its money um, the Samsung Galaxy S4 in terms of specs is actually superior to this phone here so um, even though the prices are just about the same why would you pick this phone? First of all, if the, the back cover wasn't awesome enough, um, there are this phone was specifically created with um, yeah Vocaloid Vocaloid lovers, um, specifically Miku, I guess, in mind. So um, here's the battery widget. Uh, it tells you batteries in its own special format, <laughs> weather, um, and one of the most exclusive things. Uh, so that's an alarm as well. Is this here. There will be regular updates of news as well as exclusive um, content you can browse. Um, so for example this here is a um, 
sort of a playlist of some exclusive music uh, that you can listen to through this phone. So um, Tilt6 was uh, one of the artists uh, whose music was used to promote this phone. Let's have a listen. If you'll let me. Oops, sorry. Alright, so I've gone ahead and turned back on the lights now, and uh, yeah, I think you pretty much get the gist of that. Um, so, uh, that's also a widget that comes in, and uh, I'm, I believe these uh, playlists will update once in a while. And um, so here are the available ones right now. Um, not quite sure what this one is, but uh, it has Hangouts message. Mm -hmm. you call? I guess it's Facebook probably. Okay. So just various sounds you can set to your various uh, applications. Alright, let's uh, move to the next one. Back. Alright, so alongside uh, there's also this button here. Um, contains um, various um, news, uh, such as, you know, the currently most popular Nico video songs. Sorry, let me just change this angle here. Alright, so as you can see here, there's a list of just uh, various songs, such as uh, the new one from Deco, and yep, so basically all the new stuff that's made its uh, way to the list. Uh, it does have a few of the more old stuff as well, which is in the list for whatever reason it is. And yeah, various other stuff. So they update themselves once in a while. Uh, also, Pixiv. Various artists who have made the rankings. Let's go back on that, and yeah. So, on top of that, there's a lot of other things to do. Oh, what's this down one thingy? All right. Uh, here are all of the uh, Miku specific applications. Miku Home, which is the uh, home screen itself. When you press Home, it'll move. And this whole theme itself is uh, part of the Miku phone. And. Um, Yep, so let's uh, move back. Well, you can see the panorama, so download back to there. A Vocaloid, Vocaloid P player, which is that uh, player just then with uh, the exclusive songs. Find creative news. Okay, so yep, that's all the stuff here. And, um,. Make a wallpaper changer, so there's a very you know various other wallpapers you could use, and um, yeah, somehow you can. Uh, here it is. Here, I guess I'll have a huge range of them, and uh, you can just choose from one of them. Miku alarm is uh, quite the interesting one. So you set an alarm, you change the details as well, uh, especially the. Alarm sound. So um, there are various ones. A uh, lot created by um, Vocaloid artists. Uh, let's have a sample of each. So it's just a few of them, and uh, the more unique ones are Miku here going, it's morning.
And yeah, so from there it starts getting to the more default uh, Xperia ones, so nothing too special about those ones. Now let's skip on to the next application. Mm, pass the screen here. Alright, what's next? Uh, I'll see a Miku line. Find your Miku is um, an application I never quite got working. Uh, it doesn't seem to work at the moment for me anyways. So, even if I try to download it, uh, I was like, oh, big file needs uh, Wi-Fi, but yeah, apparently it's only like 5 megabytes. And uh, when I try to work it, Mm, apparently the data is not even there. Would you like to uninstall it? So it uh, happens every time and I've pretty much given up. I have messaged them, uh, the DX39 guys, and hopefully they'll reply to me soon. So uh, let's get back to the download. Um, find your Miku. Yep, so apparently um, a Find Your Miku application is um, a big community where there are, will be a lot of uploads of music, uh, sounds, logos and everything where you could use it to customize your phone. So yeah, if that works that'd be awesome, but unfortunately it doesn't. Miku weather. Um, so, you know, choose uh, which area you're in in Japan and it'll give you a display of the weather like so. And, uh, oh, while well, she's still walking here, if you've ever had a dog on my phone, you have this. It's usually of a. I did not know he had voices. Um. Um, apparently he thought I'd said lion now. Let's try that again. Uh. Hello. Wow, um, I'm very interested in wondering if that's actually the voice from a uh, vocaloid application, but it sounds a bit too clear to be so. Mm, how about. Kyo no tenki. Hmm, yeah, so I'll leave that decision up to you whether that's actually Miku's voice or not. But, um,. I did not know that thing was actually even remotely useful, so that's uh, news to me myself. Uh, back in here again, yes, yeah, so that's just the batteries. Um, not quite sure what all the detail is, but the 51% is obviously battery life, so um, got that figured out at least. So one of the main things about this phone, uh, which also made it very, very exclusive, was uh, the ringtones on this phone. So if I can get to settings properly, actually, I was in the home page somewhere. Yeah. And move on to phone settings. Where is it? Here it is. Sounds. And here we go. There are a list of um, ringtones that were specifically created for this phone as well. So um, you might recognize some of these artists from looking at them as well. But let's go through them one by one a little bit. That didn't last very long. Sorry, that was me. Oh, so that one's from Live Tunes. Uh, the next one, I'm pretty sure you'd probably know what it is.
so this song here is actually used in uh, many of the advertisements on um, TV or whatever. So yeah, um, that's my personal ringtone as well. Oh, that was an interesting one. Alright, and so these ones uh, start getting towards the um, uh, Miku a cappella one, so uh, let's give them a try. That one's obviously <laughs> like the other one as well. And yeah, so the rest are obviously just the default ones, um, so I won't go into details about those, but there we go, another one of the features. Hey guys, so one more thing about the uh, Miku phone is the uh, exclusive keyboard that's been designed for this as well. So um, on there are, as you can see here, it's green, and uh, you know obviously for Miku, you can change it to other colors such as yellow uh, for obviously Lin and Lin, as well as um, various other things, uh, other colors rather, and um, the dictionary in here has been specifically tailored for the. Vocaloid fans as well, for example, we have me, ku, and as you can see, Miku Miku Nishite Akiru comes as one of the um, suggest, suggest, suggested words, sorry. Uh, Mikuru 396, which is a producer, and Miku Miku Dance, Miku Biento. I'm not quite sure what that is though, but um, hmm, I wonder what else is on that list, anyways. Miku Hells, Miku, yeah, Miku Disease, uh, yeah, Miku Spirit, Miku Pen, so a lot of um, words specific to Miku, Miku Dayo as well even, and yeah, um, so that's another thing, I wonder what would happen if I typed, then, then, comes up, oh, then, oh, there we go, yep, so I penned, then I comes before that though, so, hmm, in after I type it in properly, in append ninja now, <laughs> of course, and yeah, so a lot of specific uh, definitions on this phone, specifically catered for this. Alright guys, so um, that's basically it from me about this phone. Uh, all in all, in terms of specifications, um, I would actually not recommend uh, this phone for people, especially if they're not into Vocaloid, um, because um, at a very similar cost, the um, Samsung S4 actually outperforms this phone in almost all the specs, so uh, if you're looking for you know, I find that probably would run faster and more smoothly. Uh, you'd do well to head towards that direction. But um, for any Vocaloid lovers, and uh, for example, someone like me, I uh, haven't really found the time to um, really browse uh, Vocaloid music and uh, don't know which ones are good and all. So this is a really good um, uh, list of, uh, especially this part here, of, you know, what's new, what's to look at, and uh, some random pictures, why not, right? So in terms of these features, if you will use these features, it's worth it. Uh, if not, if you don't care too much for this, stick with the Samsung, I think, or unless you have something against Samsung, I 
Well, can't help you either way, <laughs> anyways. Um, and yeah, so um, plenty more Vocaloid and non Vocaloid news on my blog. Um, check it out. And as I said before, if there's any of the features uh, I wasn't too sure about here or something I missed out, I'll most likely give it an update um, on my blog. So there'll be a post up for this as well. So uh, have a look out for it, guys. Right, and so this was the uh, Hatsune Miku. Xperia A phone from Sony.